Hi, this is Josh Haftel, and in this video, we're going to be talking about using presets in the all-new Lightroom CC. Now, presets are a great way of being able to work with your images and edit them really, really quickly, but they also let you experiment and see what your image could look like with different styles of edits applied to them, or it also allows you to unify and align the same style across a number of images. Let's get a, a look real quickly at how they work. So I'm going to start off with this image. I'm going to double-click on it to open it up. And I'm going to open up the edit panel. So we're going to go over here to the right, click on the edit. And now we can see I've got the edit panel open. And there's a lot of things that we can do inside of here. And we'll be going deeper into each one of these sections in subsequent lessons. But to start off with, I'm going to go right down to the bottom. I'm going to select presets. And inside of here, you can see we've got a number of different preset categories already installed inside of Lightroom CC. So the first section is called the color section, and this is designed to just give you a lot of different basic kinds of edits that will improve color images. And as you can scroll through them, you'll see that they are changing the look of your images. And just rolling over the preset will show you different effects and different enhancements on your image. And you'll also notice as you're rolling over them, the sliders on the right hand side are moving. So these things are going to apply a very specific set of enhancements, that's why they're called presets, so that you can get a, a chance to really quickly with one click change a lot of settings at once. Uh, if we go down to the creative section, we can see other kinds of enhancements. So you've got these different ones and these are designed to be, as the name implies, more creative or trying different things out and, and get a better understanding of how the image might look. And you can see that each one of them is, is pretty different. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we go to the black and white section. So in here, we can see different kinds of black and white enhancements and what might uh, be nice for a particular image. And we'll go through and, and just take a look at these other ones. Finally, we've got these components. Now, these components are designed to just do one thing at a time. So, for example, you've got uh, different kinds of curves, uh, different kinds of grain settings, and different kinds of vignettes. But let's talk about those in a moment, and let's just go back up and, and see if we can't pick one of these other presets uh, that we want to start off with. And as I mentioned, you can use presets to either experiment with different kinds of looks on your image, or you could even use these presets as a way to jumpstart your edits. So we could say, well, you know, what's a good starting point for these images? Uh, I personally like the black and whites for this kind of a photo because you got that old timey style. So we can go in and say like, oh, well, do we want to do a black and white flat, black and white soft, the infrared where it's really trying to simulate infrared black and white film. I think this soft one looked the best. So we'll start off with that. Now, what's really cool about using these components is you can now use any one of these components in addition to the preset that we just applied. So by clicking on the preset, it's going to add it to your image. And if we want to, we can add another uh, one of these presets on top of that. So for example, maybe I wanted to add some grain into the image. So if I use this uh, grain three and I zoom in here, you can take a look at uh, what it's doing to the image. Maybe I don't need as much grain, grain two. That looks better and I can zoom back out again and I can take a look at the vignette. Let's see here, which one looks good? Well, maybe the vignette two looks pretty good. So now by just selecting three different presets, what I did was I selected the black and white soft, I added the green two and I added the vignette. I can see um, before by pressing the backslash key or if you wanna use the button on the interface, you can use this button down here on the, on the bottom right. It'll show you the original. And if you press it again, it'll go back to the currently edited photo. So that's one really quick way of being able to use presets. Um, let's go into another image and take a look at some of the other things that we can do with these presets. So for example, let's take uh, this photo here and let's go into presets again. And let's take a look at the different kinds of presets that we can apply to this particular photo. So we got the bright, high contrast. We can just scroll through these until we see something we like. Now, I really like this matte look. The matte is something that's pretty popular right now. Um, but one of the things I notice is it's a little bit dark. So of course I can click on that matte look and then I can go in here and I can actually increase the exposure or increase the shadows. And this is just a way of starting off with a preset and then modify it using some of these sliders. Um, and then another thing that's really cool about this, of course, is after I've added in one of these effects, I can now go in and I can create a preset by saving the settings that I've done. So for example, right now what I did is I created an effect by first selecting the matte preset inside of the color category. 
And then I opened up the shadows, moving the shadow slider. So now I've, I've done something unique. This is my own specific look. Now, if I wanna save this, I can click on uh, create preset and I can call this, for example, matte with light shadows, for example. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I've got that effect right here now listed. And this means at a future date, if I want to, I can pick this image, for example, and I can scroll down and I can see what would happen to this one if I use matte and light shadows. It actually looks pretty good. So this way I can create the look and feel that I want. I can save that. It's gonna save all the edits that I've applied on the right-hand side into a new thing. And then I can apply it on a multitude of images and I can make sure that each one of those images is gonna have the same look and feel as the last one. And it means I don't have to go through and move all those sliders by myself. So this is a fast and easy way of being able to use the images. And those are the presets that we've got built into Lightroom CC.